How's it going guys? Chips here with you again with another ARC Let's Build video. In today's video, we're gonna be building this over the water bungalow that you see in front of you now. And my idea for this build was that it would kind of be like a, you know, vacation getaway type of home. And you know, if you wanted to, if you found like a nice big flat spot of shallow water, you could actually probably build out like a dock and build you know, several of these around to make that island getaway type of look. Who knows, I might actually do a speed build with something like that going on. But all right, before we get started, I just wanted to first obviously say thank you so much for you know checking out this video. Thank you for being here with me today. I'm glad you're here. Guys, if you do enjoy the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button below. Leave me a like. Go ahead and leave me a comment on what you think. And of course, subscribe to the channel for future builds and other gaming videos. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get to building. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is just finding our location. So what you're looking for is a good shallow area in the ocean where you will be able to easily place a few pillars down and reach the floor. So I found this area here. Just go ahead, how many pillars you're gonna use will depend on basically how deep it is and also how high you want it to stand out of the water. So I'm gonna place my first one here and obviously that's not quite high enough out of the water so I'll go ahead and place another one and we'll start working from there. All right, so now that I have both of those pillars placed, the next thing we're gonna do is to put a thatch ceiling right here on top of this pillar. Now once you have that, go ahead and we're going to put a row of seven total thatch ceilings across and obviously every other thatch ceiling you're going to have to build down with wood pillars. And then once you have those seven placed add two more ceilings out this way Go ahead and place your pillars and as you can see at this point i'm now having to place three pillars that may happen it just depends on how even the ground is below your water and then add six more ceilings so we can have another row of seven here on the back side and again place the pillars down all the way every other ceiling you have to place pillars we got a turtle hanging out here with us just go ahead get to seven total ceilings so we're back at the start All right, now that we have those two rows, go ahead and come back and destroy all of the thatch ceilings that are sitting on top of the pillars. I'm gonna use the red gun. Obviously, you guys will probably have to go in and actually destroy them yourselves, but to make it quicker, just destroy the ones that are on top of pillars. And then once you've done that, you can also go ahead and destroy this first pillar that we placed, that we put our first ceiling on. Go ahead and destroy that also. And the reason we did this is so that we can get a nice even pillars across so that when we go back and place stone ceilings on top, they won't have any pillars sticking up through them. But then next, go ahead and snap two more wood pillars in a line here. Basically, you're gonna use that wood pillar that we have left over to provide a snap point for these. And then go ahead and add another wood pillar on top. And now we should be able to place a nice even stone ceiling across. Oh, I accidentally placed that one too low. That is my bad. Go ahead and pick that one up and place one in line there. And as you can see, if we go under, they are not sticking through. They are just kind of barely sitting on top of the pillars. Nice look, no pillars sticking through. So let's go ahead around and just add stone ceilings across this entire area that we deleted the thatch. When you do get here on the end of this last pillar, you're gonna add another stone ceiling here on the end to make eight total instead of the seven. And then after that, just go ahead and fill this entire area in. So it will essentially be three rows of eight stone ceilings. So now with those placed, come back here on the front and on the third and fourth stone ceiling, add two more stone ceilings to look like that. And then go to the back and again on the third and fourth stone ceiling, this time we're gonna add two greenhouse ceilings to give us something like that. And then right here next to those greenhouse ceilings, we are going to add four more stone ceilings on the back. And that is gonna do it for the base of this build, guys. Nothing too complicated. I think the hardest part is just messing around with the pillars. But if you do need to, guys, go ahead and pause the video now and copy what we have. Now, starting on this side, go ahead and add two flipped wooden walls on the end here, as well as the appropriate flipped sloped wooden wall. Then in the middle, add three flipped wooden walls. And on the other side of that, add two more flipped wooden walls and the appropriate sloped wooden wall. Now here on the front, we are going to add two flipped wooden walls here. 
followed by two greenhouse walls in this spot. Then we'll round the corner and add two more greenhouse walls as well as the appropriate flipped sloped wooden wall. Then let's just go ahead and next place two more flipped wooden walls and we're just gonna fill this in the same as we did on the outside with three in the middle and then two on the side with a flipped sloped wooden wall as well. Now back here at the front, we're gonna add two more flipped wooden walls here, followed by a greenhouse double door frame and double doors here. And then we will place a greenhouse wall on top of those. Add two more greenhouse walls next to it. And then round this corner and place two more greenhouse walls next to those. After that, we will place two more flipped wooden walls here. On the back side here, start by placing two flipped wooden walls another flipped wooden wall and the appropriate flipped sloped wooden wall here. Then right here on the edge, place two greenhouse walls. Again, a flipped wooden wall and appropriate flipped sloped wooden wall. And then just fill in this last spot with four flipped wooden walls. Back over here on this side, go ahead and add the appropriate flipped sloped wooden wall to each of these. Next, we're gonna work on the roof of our build. So let's start with placing two sloped thatch ceilings here, followed by two regular thatch ceilings on top, and then two more sloped thatch ceilings to fill in this area over here. With those placed, let's go ahead and take this across the rest of our build. So just add three more here. And then we're actually gonna take this one three more out as well. To the edge of our foundation that we have built. Let's go back over here and do the same thing. Add six more sloped thatch ceilings. Then we will come over here to the back side to this little portion and we're just going to add two more sloped thatch ceilings on top of it. Inside now we're just going to destroy these bottom four wooden walls that we placed here. But be sure you leave those top two alone. We do want those there. Those are kind of covering up on the outside a little bit. So leave these ones alone. Now back outside, the next thing we're going to do is place a few pillars. So first here on the end, go ahead down here and place two wooden fence foundations on these middle two ceilings. And then on the sides, you're going to add two high wooden pillars. And in the middle, you're going to add three high wooden pillars. So two high, three high, two high. And then just go ahead and build these down to your ocean floor. Depending on how deep your ocean is will depend on how many you have to add. Now with those pillars placed, we're going to head over here to the back side to this little area where we have this gap. We're going to place another wooden fence foundation along this wall there and add two wooden pillars on the inside and one on the outside. And then again, go ahead and build those down to the ocean floor. And then once you complete this, once you get these built down to the ocean floor, just go ahead to the other side of this little room and do the same thing. Back at the front, we're gonna go ahead here and add two wooden stairs, or at least it's gonna be two for me. It might be more, it might be less for you, again, depending on how high you built out of the water. But we're gonna add two wooden stairs for me right here, kind of on that little in-cut area. So for this next portion, it's very important to follow along carefully and do exactly as I do. So first, we're gonna go ahead and place two thatch ceilings here in front of this wooden wall and this greenhouse wall. And then next we're going to get out a wooden double door frame 
and you're going to rotate the snap point so that it is snapping on the thatch ceiling and then also in reverse. So it should be snapping to the thatch ceiling, not destroying the wall we already placed. And then once you place it, it will kind of give this little bit of a bracketing appearance around the wall. Add another one on top of that one, and again do this on the greenhouse wall as well. Then you can just go back in here and either demolish or pick up these two thatch ceilings. So then we're going to complete this step with the thatch ceilings and the double wooden door frames all the way around this build. We're basically going to put them on every single wall, um, but you only need the thatch ceilings for the walls that don't have any ceilings next to them. So let's start out here. And also don't forget, you know, we're not going to place those on the sloped walls because it would be sticking out of the top. So first let's do that here and then just basically go around, follow along as I do. I'm going to speed this up a little bit so we can save some time, but just try to follow along as I do it. And then I, we actually don't need to place one here because those pillars would cover it up anyways. Um, so it would be pointless. You wouldn't be able to see it behind the pillars regardless. And then also on the other side of this little outcrop, it would be the same thing. But go ahead and place two more here on these greenhouse walls. And then over here, as we are done with the thatch ceiling portion, we are now on to our stone ceiling. So we no longer need to place ceilings to do these. Just continue all the way around, hit every single wall. You don't need to place ceilings anymore. Just place them, snap, make sure they're snapping to the stone ceilings that are on the outside though. Now we still do have a few more steps to do with the double wooden door frames. So first go around the build on any of the walls that we placed these on and just build them down to the floor of the ocean. Basically what this is going to be is it's going to give our build kind of a stilt appearance as if it's standing up on some stilts in the water outside of just, you know, using the pillars, which are a little too bulky. We have to use them for support, but this will give us a little bit more of a nicer stilt appearance. So go ahead all the way around the build anywhere we place these and add some more. So the last thing we're going to do with these double wooden door frames is to continue our stilt look but this time on our balcony patio type area that we have going on. So to do this we first are going to have to place one above the stone ceiling so snap to the top of it in reverse and then you can snap one below the stone ceiling in reverse and build your way down to the ocean floor. And then go back up and pick that one up and the reason we have to do this I'm going to show you here you can see how it's very tightly you know up tight to the top of the ceiling or to the bottom of the ceiling. If we try to place one under the ceiling without placing one above, this is what we're going to get. We're going to have that ugly gap at the top. So go ahead and pick that up and then place one on the top. And then from there, snap down below it and go down to the ground. Unfortunately, you know, arc is arc and sometimes these kind of things are in the game. Um, it doesn't really make sense, but it is what it is. So I'm going to go around the build. Just kind of pay attention. I'm going to speed things up. So just pay attention to where I'm placing them. It's pretty much going to be all the way around the balcony with the exception of in between the pillars, but just follow along and let's get this part done.
And then the final thing we have to do for this building process is just to go around the entire patio area and add wooden railings on top of all of the stone ceilings. So go around the entire thing, add them to the stone ceilings, and also add them on the wooden staircase as well. Alright guys, that is going to do it for the building process. So for the paint job, I'm going to paint all of the double wooden door frames, the pillars, the thatch ceilings, and the stairs are going to be white. And then I'm going to paint all of the walls, both wood and greenhouse, and then also the wood railing scion. And what that'll do is it'll give us kind of a nice little beachy vibe. But if you want to go ahead and stick around for a few more seconds, I'm going to go ahead and paint this add some decorations and then I'll show you guys what I did just to give you a little bit of an idea on how you might be able to decorate this. Alright guys, so like I said, I painted all of the wooden walls and the greenhouse walls and the railings with the scion color and then I painted the wooden double door frames, the pillars and the stairs with a white color. I left our stone ceilings alone, I think those look fine how they are. As for decorations, right here on the front I added a few chairs just to sit out and look over the water, a little bit of storage there in the corner. This area over here is a grill area where we could have some friends over, cook out for them, you know, have a little bit of a party. Over here we added a few benches that we could fish off of, and some more storage and stuff over there in that corner. And while this has potential for hosting a party during the day, I still wanted it to have kind of a couple's getaway retreat type feel, so on the inside above our glass ceilings, I just placed a table for two with a torch, and we have the nice little ceilings we can look down in the water. Just some more storage over here. And then we have our bedroom area over here. And that is pretty much it for the decorations, guys. This is a small build, so there's not that much to it. So that is going to do it for this build, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was easy to follow along. And I hope you enjoyed the build. If you guys do, please go ahead and leave me a like below. Leave me some comments on what you think. And of course, subscribe to the channel for future building videos and other gaming videos. Also, guys, check the description below for my Twitter. If you head over there, you can send me some pictures of this build in your arc. I would love to see what you guys do with the build. But anyways, guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.